Hey guys and welcome back to The Upper Hand. I'm Parker, this is Dylan, we've got a new face with us today. This is Kyle White, he is a doctor of physical therapy. He also has a YouTube channel we want you guys to check out. Uh, it's a physical therapy YouTube channel uh, called Body Talk DPT. Go ahead and take a second and subscribe to that right now. And so today guys we're talking about the easy angle digital goniometer and the reason we brought Kyle on is because he's a physical therapist and we wanted to highlight all the features of this uh, new tool and how versatile it is and it can be used by OTs, PTs as well as a host of other professionals. So if you'll stick around we're going to dive into that next. So range of motion measurements have traditionally been taken with a goniometer or an inclinometer of some, or some other type of tool that requires two hands to use and can be difficult to read depending on what you're trying to measure. So with that in mind, uh, that allows more room for a little bit more subjectivity when a therapist is trying to measure a joint and you know when you're taking uh, goniometric measurements you want it to be as objective as possible. Also when more than one therapist is trying to measure a joint you have a little bit more of a discrepancy in inter-rater reliability because each therapist that's measuring at different times may get a slightly different reading off of the goniometer. So with that in mind, the Easy Angle Digital Goniometer was developed uh, to be used as a goniometer but also can be used as an inclinometer or a scoliometer. It can measure multiple joint uh, movements in different planes. For example, it can measure cervical, thoracic, or lumbar rotation. It can measure flexion extension. Um, so it's very versatile and can be used by OTs, PTs, and other professions. So that was the idea behind developing this tool and we want to dive into uh, that a little bit more next and show you all the really neat features that this uh, goniometer has to offer. So one of the cool features this uh, Easy Angle has is that when you're measuring somebody, sometimes you may be worried about getting off plane, uh, or if you sit it down and bring it back, uh, you may be worried about that a little bit, but this actually has a feature within itself um, that it'll tell you when you're off plane or just uh, not level anymore. All right, so we'll go ahead and level this out kind of in this angle here, and then say I turn it back and over, you can see that it's telling us that we are no longer uh, in that axis anymore or we're off level and it's got these two little leveling bubbles almost you have to get that uh, bubble back in the center before it's going to start reading again. So just for instance if you're doing like forearm pronation or supination um, you go ahead and zero that out your patient starts turning into pronation say they have a little bit of wrist flexion or any kind of other motion that's going to kind of kick that out and you would have to reposition your patient uh, for that to read accurately. Another cool feature is that when you start the measurement here you have to tap it once like Parker said to set your zero. So I'm going to measure uh, shoulder flexion on him. So if we had the uh, longer lever arm here I would just place it here mid shaft of his humerus and start there's the zero and then if I wanted to position him into shoulder flexion but I didn't want to have to hold this on you can set it down. I can position him into shoulder flexion and tell him to actively hold that position. You can pick it right back up and you can come up and tap it again and you get an accurate measurement without having to actually hold the goniometer on the extremity which is really useful and functional in the clinic. So to measure Kyle's elbow flexion and extension um, I'm going to pop one of these on that's going to give us a little bit longer lever arm it's going to make this a little easier um, to measure so Kyle go ahead and drop your elbow down as far as you can so you can see he can get full extension you can actually get a little bit of hyper extension let me bring you back to zero right there's perfect Okay, I zeroed that out. Go ahead and bend that uh, arm as far as you can. And you got 129, 130, which is normal for an elbow. All right, so we're gonna look at cervical side bend here. I'll be real honest, this is something that I don't objectively measure a whole lot in the clinic. I kind of eyeball it, but with the easy angle, it kind of gives me a quick and easy way to get an objective measurement on the fly. So we're going to look at Parker's side bend here, and you're just going to kind of line up these spinous processes. Already got it on zero, hit it, zero it out, and then what I love about it, you can sit it down, I can show Parker what we want. Side bend there, we find our spot again, okay, we're lined up there, we're lined up here, lock it in, 24 degrees cervical side bend. And you see how quick that was and it like we mentioned earlier we can save it and then move on we can do right side bend really like it for the side bend it's a hard one to get with a goniometer all right so next we're going to look at some cervical rotation 
Another one that's kind of difficult to get with the goniometer, usually I'm on my tiptoes above their head, trying to hold it, it's kind of cumbersome, a little difficult. And so with the easy angle, you can come here right on the side of Parker's skull, zero, and we'll get him to rotate. Good, make sure that's all he's got. And I'll just line it right back up. Lock it in, 47 degrees, right cervical rotation. See how quick and easy that was, and now we can go quicker back to the left. Let's see, we'll get our zero here. Okay, now we'll go back left. And we've got 49 degrees, and you can see how quickly I was able to see where the deficits were. We quickly know that he has two more degrees going left than he has right. And that gives me a better idea as a therapist, and then we can keep rolling through our eval. All right, guys, awesome product. We really enjoyed it. We're going to continue enjoying it as um, we continue using this in our clinic on a daily basis. If you want to know how to get an easy angle uh, digital goniometer in your clinic, we're going to include that down in the description below. Make sure you go and check those guys out. Yeah, I definitely back these guys. As a physical therapist, this thing was really easy to learn and get a hold of in the clinic. It helps me to be able to treat multiple patients test and then retest without losing a lot of time so I don't lose quality. Okay guys, so thanks for sticking around. If you like this product, ch definitely check out their page because they have some other products uh, as well that have some really neat features that you might find useful in your clinic. We appreciate you watching and make sure to check out some of our other videos on the, the upper hand and check out Kyle's Physical Therapy YouTube page, Body Talk DPT. We'll see you guys next time. You can do like I feel like internal rotation of the shoulder would be a lot easier to check on that. So like if I'm here okay. and you so get that measurement. Line it up. Mm -hmm. And then click it once to zero. Take you through. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, it's got you at 43. And then it saves like the last five measurements. So like if you're doing shoulder, you could do a whole shoulder range of motion assessment and not have to memorize memorize all these numbers and go and write them down. You could do it real quick and then just flip through there whenever you're doing your documentation. So I feel like it'd go a lot quicker. Dude, that's awesome. I really like that.